Welcome to the Big Four Accounting Firms podcast brought to you by BigFourAccountingFirms.com. If you enjoy our show, don't forget to help us out by subscribing to this podcast, sharing it with a friend, and providing us with a review on iTunes. Check out the show notes below for the link. Thanks, and enjoy the show. Today, I wanted to talk about some questions that you can ask during your Big Four interview. There are many questions that you can ask a Big Four partner or a recruiter, and that's what we're going to go over today. These are also questions that you can ask at other times, not just in the Big Four interview. You can ask them at networking events, or let's say you're corresponding with a Big Four recruiter over email or a partner that you met at a networking event, and you want to ask them additional questions. These are some good questions that you can ask them at any time. And even if you've already started at the big four um, and you don't completely understand your role or what group you're going to be in or what you're going to be doing, some of these questions you can use to ask um, big four HR personnel or when you go through your initial training at the big four, there's people that ask you if you know if you have any further questions. And these are some questions that you can ask during that period as well. Now, when you go through a big four interview, You'll typically be interviewing with either a recruiter who's going to be interviewing you in person or over the phone, and they're going to be doing some filtering out. They're going to ask you some initial questions to see whether you can make it to the next round. And then once you make it to the next round, you're going to be recruiting with more senior people. You might be recruiting with a big four staff person, a senior associate, a manager, or a big four partner. So we'll be breaking apart the questions between questions that you might get asked by a big four recruiter and questions that you might get asked by more senior people like a big four partner or a big four manager. But before we get to that, there are some standard questions that you can ask either a big four recruiter or a big four partner. And those questions are questions like, what is the work-life balance like? This is a common question and both the recruiter and the partner will be ready to ask it. And they get that question a lot. So it's good to ask them some questions they expect and that way they could feel good about themselves because they'll have an answer ready for that. Or another one similar to this is, what is the firm's current stance and initiatives towards diversity? Another good one is, how is feedback provided to people within the group? So now let's go into the questions for each specific level. And first, let's talk about questions that you might ask a big four recruiter. The first question that might be good for you to ask a big four recruiter would be, what would you say the culture is like at this big four firm versus the other big four this is a really good question just because for your own personal education, it'll let you know what differentiates this firm versus the other firms. If they don't have a good answer to this question, then it's obviously a firm you might not want to join. You want to figure out what makes this firm different, what's their approach towards people, towards work styles, towards work-life balance, and asking the recruiter, this information will be good because the recruiter looks at materials related to the firm every day. So they should have a general understanding of what makes the firm different versus the other firms. Another good question to ask a big four recruiter is, I recently saw a news story about, you know, fill in the blank headline. What is the firm doing to address this issue? And the reason this question is good is because it shows that you're up to date on news. And it could be a news story about the firm. As long as it's positive, you obviously don't want to read headlines that are bad and ask them why their firm has a bad headline, but it could be a good news story and have them answer that question. Or it could be something that's happening in the accounting industry like robotics or technology and have them answer what the firm is doing in this space. Another good question to ask a big four recruiter, because this is kind of logistical, is what group or line of service will I be assigned to? This is a very good question because you need to understand what group you're going into. And many big four recruits don't even ask this question. They just wait to get assigned. It's good to understand which group you're going into because you don't know whether you like it or not. And understanding what that group is and what you'll be doing will help you understand if you belong there. Another good question is, do you have a list of expectations for me as an associate or an intern? You know, if you're recruiting with the big four, you're obviously going in for an internship or an associate position. And it's good to understand your expectations. And a recruiter will have this. Most likely, it'll be a job description they give you, but... It's still a good idea to have this. Another good question to ask a big four recruiter would be, how would you describe the atmosphere here? Is it formal, traditional? Is it energetically for informal? You need to understand what the atmosphere is like, not just in your firm, but in your group. 
most likely a recruiter will give you a firm level view, but they might also have some insights into your group. And, you know, if you're a very casual, informal person and your group is formal, then, you know, you need to ask yourself whether that's the right fit. Another good question to ask a recruiter is what percentage of my time would I spend communicating with others? You know, this just shows that you're interested in communicating with people and trying to understand your job responsibilities. So it, it might be an obvious answer to you. Like you might, you might already know because you visit our website, big four accounting firms.com that communication is very key to the big four job, but asking a recruiter, you know, some softball questions to understand your job. It makes you look smart. It makes you look interested and it makes them feel good. Another question that you can ask them is where is the company headed in terms of growth and potential for people in my role or in my line of service? If you're going to work in transaction advisory at one of the firms, you might want to understand if transaction advisory is slowing down or is it growing? Is there going to be an acquisition? And sometimes they might tell you something here that you didn't know, like there might be an acquisition here or there might be a sale. So that's something good to ask a recruiter as they're usually familiar with the with each practice's requirements for the job. Like why is this specific practice hiring people? It's because of growth and they'll tell you about that. Or is it because somebody left the firm or a lot of people left this group? It'd be good to understand that part. Another question that you can ask a recruiter is, how much travel will there be in my group? And this is good to understand. You might be going into a position and you might think you'll be in the office every day, but you actually have to travel a lot and a recruiter will know this. And it'd be good to get this information from the recruiter before you join. Okay, those are some sample questions for you to ask on the interview to your big four recruiter. But now let's focus in on the questions that you would ask a big four partner or a more senior person at the big four firm than a big four recruiter. The advice I'd give here is the questions that you ask the, the big four partners and managers should be more focused towards big four client work and group specifics. You shouldn't be asking these people logistical questions like how much you'll be earning and how long your internship will last. You should save those type of questions for big four recruiters. Okay, so let's go over the first question that you might ask a big four partner. The first question that you might ask a big four partner is what values are important to you and your big four firm? This is a high level question that's good to ask a partner because most associates and young people don't even think of values of the firm. And if you show that you're interested in values, it'll be really good. It'll show you're more mature. And it also makes the partner think about what they like about working at their firm. For example, integrity. If integrity is one of the firm's values and they're interested in that, then that's going to make them think positive things while they're talking to you. Another good thing to ask a more senior person at the Big Four is, what advice would you recommend to me that you wish you implemented early on in your career? This is another good question to ask them because this gets them thinking about their prior experiences and what they wish they had done and a positive outcome, some positive tools that they recommend. And it's also good advice. Even if you don't end up working for this firm, it's good advice to get from a partner what they would do differently. And another good question here to ask a big four partner or senior person is around work-life balance. And the question is, work-life balance is important to me as a young professional. What initiatives does your firm offer as far as work-life balance? Every firm has work-life balance initiatives now. So this is another one that I would consider a softball. You put it up there and they're going to knock it out of the park because every firm has work-life balance initiatives. But Trying to understand that in your interview is going to be good. It's going to it's going to make the partner or manager feel good too because they're aware of these and they know that young people are interested in this. So answering this will show that you know about it and that you're just trying to get more information. Another good question to ask more senior people at the Big Four is, what have you done to grow your personal and professional networks that I could implement today? This will show that you're interested in growing your networks, which is a key trait that the big four look for in young professionals. And it'll be good for not just for understanding the interview, but also for your future development at the big four. Another question that you can ask a big four partner or more senior person is, what would be my first project? And this is a good question because it's specific to your group and specific to your line of service. If the partners doesn't know which group you're in, they might not know the answer to this, but it's still a good question to ask because it makes them think about what you'll be working on. And also if they don't know what you'll be working on, it's good information for yourself to sort of understand that your group tasks aren't specifically determined yet, and that's to be determined later. Otherwise, you might get anxious wondering what kind of work you're going to get. And as soon as you get in your group, you might start worrying. But if your partner doesn't know and your manager doesn't know that you're interviewing with, then you need to relax as soon as you start your job and not worry about it. That's why that question is good. Another good thing to ask the manager or partner who you're interviewing with would be, what would be my key responsibilities in my role? And this is good because they're going to tell you things like teamwork and communication. But again, this shows your initiative to try and understand your role within your group. As we said before, if you ask questions 
that show you're interested in being a good professional, then it's going to put you in a really good light in your interview. And that's what you want to ask. You might know the answers to some of these questions just from visiting each big four firm's website in our site, bigfouraccountingfirms.com. You might already know this, but it's good to ask these questions to show people that you're interested in doing well and you're interested in the tasks that will make you do well. Another good question to ask the big four manager or partner is, who would be my supervisor or superior? It might be the person you're actually interviewing with, so you might not need to ask this, but if you don't know who your superior would be, for example, if they haven't told you who that is, then it's good to ask this question because they might know the person and they might tell you that person's really great or that person's really quiet. They might tell you the traits of that. So this is another good question. And it's also good for you to know who you're going to be reporting to. And if you don't ask this question and you don't know who that person is, it's going to be, it's going to reflect poorly on you because if you're not interested in who you'll be working with, then you're obviously just taking this job for the sake of a job. You're not interested in building a team and working in a team. So this is another good question to show your interest in your big four job. Another question that's good if you're just starting out as well is, can you describe a typical day in this role? This is another good question to ask the big four partner or manager because they're the ones working on the front lines. The big four recruiter doesn't really work in a big four job. They, they're internal services. They don't do the client work. So it'd be good to ask the partner and the managers these questions because they're the ones that are out there and they're doing the work. To stay up to date on all the latest Big Four recruiting advice and career tips, make sure to subscribe to this podcast. We appreciate your help in growing this podcast so we can continue to bring you the best Big Four content possible. You could help us out by providing a review on iTunes, sending us an email with your comments, and don't forget to share with your friends. There's a link below in the show notes. That's our show for today. Thanks for listening and have a great day.